Hey there, fell fans, and welcome to another episode of Witchery Explained. Today, we're talking about crops. Now, witchery crops can be gathered like most other crops by punching grass. Oh, didn't get anything from that. But I already have all the crops anyways. The main crops you have are belladonna, garlic, wolfsbane, snowbell, water artichoke, and mandrake. There is another crop or two you can get, but those will be covered in a later episode. They have a special method of gathering them. Something to note about wolfsbane and garlic is that, of course, wolfsbane is the bane of wolves, or werewolves, which will be covered in a later episode, and garlic is, of course, the bane of vampires. Vampires don't like these. It's a pretty common theme. That will also be covered in a later episode. From belladonna, you'll get belladonna seeds and a belladonna flower. From garlic, you really just get garlic. The garlic bulb can be replanted and sometimes you'll get more than one. Sometimes. From Wolfsbane, you get the Wolfsbane flower. Oh. There we go. And seeds. Didn't give it to me that time. From Snowbell. Now, these are an interesting one. They drop snowballs. Oh, it's not going to drop it. And icy needles. We'll cover what these are needed for in a, in a later episode. And then you also have water artichokes. Now these ones are pretty cool. They're planted on water blocks. Water source blocks. And they just grow. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Ooh, which leads us to the mandrakes. Now, those of you familiar with mandrakes will know that <laughs> this can be a bit of an issue. Mandrakes are asleep at night. It's a good idea to harvest them at night. You have a better chance of them not spawning during the night. And there we have it. We have a mandrake root. But if this were day, if this were day, just uh Look at that! What the heck? That is some crazy looking thing. Now, these guys will give you nausea. Ugh. I really do feel sick. And will scream. They are very loud. You just have to kill them. Until they give you mandrake root. Ugh, ugh, still do not feel well. But, what if you don't want to wait till the nighttime? Well, why don't we go ahead and craft some earmuffs? Earmuffs are crafted with two wool and five leather. Look at how I look in that. Oh, well, I forgot I have that hat on. <laughs> they look pretty cool. They look like earmuffs. The thing is, though, 
if you can't hear anything, their screams will not give you nausea. So you are free to just swing your sword wildly and hope that one of them jumps in front of it. Or you can try and chase them down, but good luck with that. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Oh, why did I have to break so many? Ah! Aha, uh -huh, I see you! Did I kill it? I think I killed it and it fell over there. But the problem with earmuffs is that they not, they cancel out all sound. You hear that? No. That's because all sound is canceled out. Ah. Uh. And in my opinion, Minecraft just feels wrong when you can't hear anything. I don't know what it is. It, it just feels off. Really don't like it. Here, let's try and get more than one. No, it just gave me one again. That's weird. Well, why don't we go down and check out my actual crops? Here I've got a big field of crops that I've been growing things. Got a whole bunch of mandrake, some water artichoke along the edge in the waterways. I put a block under it so that it's easier to walk under. Ooh, ooh. We got a whole bunch of snowbells. Why don't we try and get some icy needles? It's not a very good chance. Oh, oh, there we go. Icy needles. It's weird that a plant that drops needles, ooh, come back here, isn't prickly in my opinion. Oh, oh, still have. Better take those off. <laughs> I really think that it should be prickly, but that would just be a bother. No one would like that. There we go. Now we got audio back. Oh, and also something to note, even though it is nighttime right now. Yep, there we are. They can still spawn. Where are you? It's just a much lower likelihood of them spawning. They can still spawn at night. It's just not likely. A fun thing to note though is that apparently witchery seeds don't need farmland to grow. They need the farmland to be planted, but once planted, you can jump on them, and it'll turn to grass, but the plants won't break. Not sure if that's intended, though, but it is interesting, in my opinion. It's probably because things like mandrakes will jump on your crops, and that's no good. So yeah, that's the crops. Basic crops, growing them, how to get them. How to defend against the mandrakes. Those guys are difficult. But thanks for watching, fellow fans. Leave a like and subscribe if you like my show. It really helps. It really helps. Comment below if there's anything you currently want to see. I'm going to try to cover as much as possible with this series. 
But if there's anything in particular you'd like to see right away, I can go ahead and do that. 